stars. Welcome to the shop. I'm Daniel with Bearded Viking Woodworks, and you're watching episode 35 of Stuck on Sawdust. I've gotten request after request and question after question of when are you going to do a trellis? Well, since it seems like everybody else is doing trellises, I tend to not want to just dive in along with everyone else, but there's a good way we can switch a typical trellis up and put our own spin on it. Good shot. So you know what time it is. Meet me at the table saw. So for our trellis, what you're gonna need is some one by eight or some one by six even. It's basically gonna be made out of strips and we'll rip the strips to an inch and a half and they are three quarter inches thick. You'll need a piece of one by eight at least six foot long and another piece at least around three foot long. And I'll provide a cut list at the end of the video with everything you'll need. You'll need an impact or a drill or both for assembly and some type of countersink. A number eight countersink is typically perfect for this type of build with some inch and a quarter galvanized screws or even stainless if you want to go that route. But that will be a little bit more pricey. But I'll have that all priced out at the end of the video. So we're going to start by setting our saw to an inch and a half and get these things ripped down. Okay, so now all those are ripped down. We've got five that are six foot tall. So we'll leave two to the side and that'll be our two six foot pieces. And then we'll need to take two of these six footers and cut them down to four foot six. Then we'll need four cut down to two foot, which we'll use out of our shorter pieces. And then we'll take our last six foot piece and cut two of them at one foot six. So let's head over to the miter box. Now for our six foot pieces, we're gonna cut a 30 degree angle on one end of each piece. So that'll be our last two cuts. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do is find yourself a flat surface, whether it be your workbench, your table saw bench or on your floor. We're gonna take our two foot pieces and from each end, we're gonna measure over seven and a half and square these marks right over. Now what you want to do is take your pieces that are one foot six and pull over four and a half from each end and square these over as well. Okay, now what you want to do is take your pieces that are four foot six and pull down from each end three quarters of an inch. And square these over also. So that does it for the layout for now. We'll go ahead and get our bench cleared 
Now for assembly, I'm actually going to take my staple gun and just staple everything with one staple just to hold it in place to get it all assembled and then we'll come back and install the countersink along with our inch and a quarter screws. And if you don't have a staple gun or a brad nailer, then you can absolutely do this step with a screw. I just find it a little bit easier to pop a quick nail in it and move along. So we'll take one of our pieces that are two foot long and start with our four foot six pieces. And right at that three quarter inch mark we made, we'll line up the outside flush with each other right on that three quarter inch mark and pop one staple in it. Or not. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad I have a backup. <laughs> Let's line up this slat with the three quarter inch mark we made and make sure it's flush to the outside. And just pop one nail in it. And we'll do the same thing on this far end over here. Make sure it's flush to the outside. Line it up with your three quarter inch mark and pop one nail. Now we'll move down to this end. And we'll line up this with our three quarter inch mark, making sure that we're flush to the outside. And do the same thing on this one. Now we'll take our pieces that are six foot and just slide those right on down through here. And up here at the top of our six foot pieces, we'll pull down three quarters and square these marks over. And make sure your angles are set up where it's long point on the inside and the long point on the inside. Now with that seven and a half inch mark that we made on our two foot pieces, we'll line up our board with that mark on the inside so that will be set ahead and then set back on this one. Line it up with your three quarter inch mark on the outside and line it up right here with your seven and a half inch mark and pop a nail in it. Same thing for this side. And then we'll move on down. Right here will be set back, and right here will be set ahead. And just pop a nail right in it. Now our next step is gonna be butting our bottom piece here and pulling down eight and a half inches, just on the middle section. And that will sit right on top of those eight and a half inch marks. And remember, we pulled in four and a half and four and a half. So we'll line up those four and a half inch marks with our center pieces. And just pop a nail in. And double check for square. That is marvelous. And then we'll just hook over and pull from this piece, hooking it to this piece 10 inches, making sure we're flush to the outside here. Making sure 10 inches is consistent. And just hold that down, pop a nail in it. Check for square. And nail this off. And then we'll come from this side back here, butting our very top, coming down eight and a half inches. And we'll make those marks at eight and a half. And line up our four and a half inch marks we made on our one foot six piece, lining those up with our center pieces 
pop a nail in these. And then we'll do the same method. Pull down 10 inches. Make sure we're flush to our outside. And pop a nail in this very edge right here. And same thing on this side. Make sure we're at 10. And pop a nail. All right, so now we'll just flip this over and we'll pre-drill with a countersink in each backing. That way we make sure this thing is secure. And then we'll add some inch and a quarter hot dip galvanized screws. All right. Our trellis is done. Wow, rock stars. What a fun build, man. I'll do a fan trellis in the next video, but I just wanted to switch it up because I've seen a lot of people doing that lately. So we just offset a couple of one buys, cut them down to an inch and a half, and this literally took one 10 foot one by eight and i still got some scrap left over so realistically you can get this built out of one 10 foot one by six so let's talk about material costs i typically would make these out of like cedar however i didn't have any on hand and i had some leftover treated so i figured i would just use this so if you wanted to buy some cedar it would be a little bit more pricey you're looking at around maybe 20 to 25 bucks for a one by six by 10 for the treated pine that came out to about eight dollars the box of screws the galvanized hot dip for the amount you need you're looking at about three dollars and 78 cents let's just say four bucks and for the stainless you'd be looking more around 20 for the amount of screws needed so realistically you can build this guy for around 10 bucks and if you went with a fence picket, which is about five eighths thick instead of three quarter, you could build this guy for under $5. I see trellises ranging anywhere from like 65 bucks upwards of $200, sometimes more depending on the size and the type. That, my friends, is a crazy profit margin and straight up my alley. What I'm probably gonna wind up doing is just painting this like a flat black or something. Or maybe just adding a color stain to it. Nothing too serious. I'll tell you this. I plan on making a shit ton of these this year. Before we head out, I wanted to share just a couple projects some of my members sent me photos of. First, we got Mike with Sawdust Creations made this badass bandsaw box. He actually made a couple of them. I cannot wait to get my bandsaw so I can start making some projects like this. I absolutely love him, Mike. Great job, brother. Next, we got Pop Bob again with a beautiful tree rack, shoe rack, tree rack, shoe rack, tree shoe rack, shoe rack tree. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> or shoe tree. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful job, Pop Bob. Love it. And I can't forget my buddy Michael from overseas in Europe is making this hefty, bulky planter box. Holy cow. That thing is crazy girthy great job michael keep it up rock stars that does it for episode 35 i really hope y'all enjoyed this video and drew some inspiration from this simple trellis until next time get in your shop and make some sawdust thanks guys <laughs>